What is the infamous misclick, you say? Well, let's take a look. What's up, guys? MTG Jedi here. Big shout out to VideoBolt.net. Uh, .net? .net. VideoBolt.net for my new intro. If you want to make intros or videos or any kind of cool media things for whatever your purposes are, VideoBolt.net is amazing. Um, they're not uh, really paying me. I do have a link. Um, I probably make like a dollar or something if you go click my link and use their service, but I just think they're amazing. That's where I make all my intro videos. So definitely check that out if you are interested in that type of thing. But let me know what you think about the new intro. I think that it's pretty sweet. So anyway, moving on, the infamous misclick. Okay, so... A lot of you know about this already, but um, there are a few things that I've done on my account that are a little embarrassing and uh, definitely mistakes that I've made. Before we get to the infamous misclick, I need to um, I need to tell you about one of the biggest mistakes I've made when I started playing this game. And I didn't check ahead of time to see if some of it was still on this account or not. But um, if you take a look in your gear, one of the things that I look at every time I'm on people's accounts for the most part is the flat stat gear. And I was so proud of my gear when I first started playing. Um, looks like we have some here. And, you know, I have good reasons for keeping it now, like protection set triple speed, or um, this is going to be chaos ord, and then we have another triple speed here. Actually, do we have chaos ord now that we could rework it? Okay, sweet. So let's do that in the video. And let's get a little bit of streamer luck. Oh, yeah, that's that's reasonable. Crit rate, triple accuracy. I like it. All right. No speed, unfortunately. But yeah, that'll definitely work. And then, does this have speed on it? No. So most of that'll get sold. Let's see if there is equipped gear. There is. Okay. Is it all reasonable? I think so. I mean, so you're talking about, like, triple speed rolls is the main thing. Aha! No, nah, that's not leveled up, so that's probably just thrown on a faction war champion or something. Anywho, so one of the biggest mistakes that players make and that I made was flat stat gear. And I... Oh, I'm going to roll that, actually. And I think that that's still one of the most common early game mistakes in the game, is flat stat gear. So... I want to make sure that you avoid that. I want you to go do this filter on your account right now. And unless you have pieces like this with triple speed rolls, which you probably don't, then you should be selling all this stuff like I did. Okay. I tend to use my chaos or on particular pieces that I'm looking for. A lot of times that's boots. Um, I mean, technically that could be all right. I don't know that I would use it in lethal but that does have speed and accuracy, so technically it's possible. And then I would um, double check these gloves here to see if we hit like triple something or other. We did not, so I don't want to use my Chaos Ore there. Now that we have Chaos Ore in the game, it's not so bad. You can easily rework some of these pieces that you put to level 16 that are bad, okay? And... If you get something bad when you rework it, then you just sell it, and it's no no problem. You have a, a chance to undo your bad investment, okay? However, there is something that I can't undo. Yeah, that was bad as well. There is something that I can't undo that I'm going to share with you today. Some of you know this and remind me frequently, and some of you do not know anything about what I'm talking about. So, 
Uh, I would love, yo, know, man, we had just terrible hits today. Um, most of you will want to save your Chaos Or for the speed set. I know that I'm looking for some specific things for specific champions, and we might as well roll this as well to see if we hit triple accuracy here. Did not, so that's a sell as well. Um, most of the time, your flat stack gear is going to be a sell, and it's one of the things holding your account back if you still have it. Another thing would be four star gear and below. All right, so the infamous misclick. Okay, there's a champion who's very, very good in the game, and I do not have him. His name is Nishak Verminlord, and the reason why I don't have him despite being an amazing champion, is simply because I forgot to do this. I had all the epics. I leveled them up. I ascended them. And I did not click fuse. So let's do that in the video today. Before we forget with two days left, while CVC is still going on, barely. And that'll keep me in my personal rewards tier, despite getting smacked in this CVC by the opposing clan. So we got Razzlevarg, but we definitely did not get Nishak. So that is a champion that I would love to get on my account. Let me know what kind of mistakes you guys made on your accounts so that I can help other people avoid those mistakes. Um, we don't need to push the video on any longer, but I will show you how bad we're getting whooped in CVC. At this point, I'm glad to just get one. It like, they've been getting more points this morning. They're up 500,000 points. And if it loaded my points, it did not. But that'll put me over 400,000, which on the next personal rewards tier, um, you know... I guess that'll be helpful. I still think personal rewards, you should get it regardless of if you're winning or losing. That's nonsense because it incentivizes everybody to have fun. So, let me know what you've done on your account that was big mistakes for you. And if you enjoyed this, I hope you'll consider hitting the like button, subscribe to the channel for more great content, and I'm going to go record a second video for today, so I'll see you a little bit later. Have a great day.